name is Barry Frobel. I'm head of the carriage and wagon department here and also motive power department administrator, steam engine driver, volunteer, O3 driver and signalman. And I'm also the driver experience coordinator as well as my other duties on the railway. And that is the part of my job that I enjoy most. It's such a pleasure doing it because everybody seems to enjoy it so much. <laughs>Gwilly Railway offer a driver training event which in our opinion is second to none. If you compare it with the other railways our price is so competitive it's not true. <laughs> what we do is offer a, a full day on the railway and most of it is involved with driving the loco, firing it or helping the guard with his duties or helping the signalman. We don't call it training because they don't qualify for anything, we just call it an experience. It's a pleasurable experience. I think it's a preparation for volunteer membership of the railway. Starts at seven o'clock. You don't have to come at seven, but to get the advantage of the whole day, seven o'clock, and that helps the fireman set the fire and the driver with the oiling. So you can witness all that. The break at nine for the breakfast, nine-ish, which is a bacon and sausage roll <laughs> and plenty of tea. There's plenty of tea during the day. Mm. Two people go on the footplate at a time. We're only allowed four on the footplate, that's the driver and the fireman, and they supervise the two guests. Two will then go with the guard for two round trips and take a turn each, and the other two will come in the signal box, and then we rotate. A break for lunch is as and when, but usually one o'clock. Days end roughly about 4.30 or 5.30, somewhere like that, depending how quick we are. The main objective of the event is safety, apart from you enjoying yourself. We do have a safety lecture first, which there's no examination afterwards, but you do need to know how to react and how to act on the railway. The important thing is to do what you want to do. There's no obligation to do any of it if you don't feel fit to, like pulling signal levers and point levers or even shoveling coal. If you don't want to, you can just watch the fire. The age range, I would say from about 20 to about 70, 75. We've had some Real old geezer, <laughs> like me, <laughs> uh, mostly male, but this last two events there's been a lady on each one. In fact, the lady on the last one, Gwenda, she wants to become a guard on the rail. They come from all over the country. Uh, we've had them from London, Bristol, uh, Lancashire, we've had people from Lancashire, and they stay local in the local hotels here. The catchment is nationwide, it really is good. The best thing for us has been the website, because people now compare the prices and we are very competitive with what we offer. We've had three events, three Saturdays, with four people on each one, and without exception, every one of those four people 
have told me how much they've enjoyed the day. And we've, we've resulted in at least three new volunteers. Oh, they get to drive is an 060 austerity saddle tank built by Vulcan Foundry in 1945 for the war effort. At the end of the war it was sent to Hunslet who rebuilt it and they sold it then to the National Coal Board. So it was with the National Coal Board until they finished with it and it was bought by the Caffili Railway Society who are now amalgamated with the Gwilly Railway and we have the local on a 15 year lease. It's called Halloween. <laughs> and the reason it's called Halloween is because in the days of the National Coal Board when it was at Mountain Ash Colliery the, the, man, the engineering manager had a granddaughter called Halloween, so he called the engine Halloween and painted it green. And then when I had it rebuilt by uh, South Coast Steam, and I had it painted the same colour as it was, and believe it or not, Halloween, the granddaughter of the manager, came down to the railway to name it for us when it was first put back in service. <laughs> it's got quite a story. <laughs> Thank you.